Alrighty, folks. The votes are in, and today we are looking at Andrei Shevchenko. He got this Future Stars promo card for when he got a hat trick with Dynamo Kiev. Um, and he was 22 years old. Um, looking at this card, it, I mean, he looks like they gave him a pretty decent promo card, especially with two playstyle pluses. It's nice. Um, going through it real quick. Six foot, high high, four star, four star. All that's pretty good. Uh, not really looking for too much more at the striker role. Um, can play on the right wing, which is cool. Probably not going to be using the Ukraine links, but he, <laughs> he's got them if you need them for some reason. Uh, pace and shooting are pretty juiced. Um, if you're putting like a hunter on there or something, a lot of stuff's going to get maxed out there. Passing is plenty for a uh, for a striker. He's got the free kick accuracy too, which is insane with that 95 curve. So probably don't need to boost that. The dribbling is good. I like the base dribbling stat being 91. Uh, but you may want to boost that if you're a big fan of agility. The balance should be okay. 87 heading is cool. And uh, low aggression, but decent physical stats should be enough. We'll, we'll see if any of that's actually a problem. Nice assortment of play styles. That's really the, the highlight of this card. Power Shot Plus and First Touch Plus is like Kane. It's like Kane's new card with the two play styles. Um, rapid, technical, Travel. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of goodies here. Finesse shot in case you need it. Looks like a good card overall. We have not finished the SBC yet, but uh, we're going to use this loan until I finish that last squad in the uh, in the SBC. So we've got him. Well, yeah, we've got him up top here. Um, got five games on the loan. Haven't played any yet. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to get some clips and some squad battles and some rivals and uh, let you know if, uh, what we think about him. Got a pretty strong squad battles team here to play against with them. Um, and they've got some really aggressive settings on, so we'll see what he can do. The dribbling... Oh, wow. The dribbling feels good right off the bat. Looks like we're going to get a chance to try his free kicks here. We're going to try to put a lot of power on it and just beam it in here to the, the bottom corner. Or at least that side. Oh! A little too much curve went straight into Ederson. He doesn't have dead ball, so I think you're probably better with somebody that has dead ball, but has the free kick stats for sure. Wins that header, but it goes over. It's unfortunate. Gosh, this CPU team just sliding constantly and fouling. Let's see what Shevchenko's passing looks like here. I mean, look at the slides. That's another foul. Okay, gets that pass off. Great. Right, here we go, Shevchenko with a little bit of space. Boom. Yeah. Does have power shot plus. Those are going to be pretty automatic from him. Makes do with that gap that he got to. Huge spot. Virgil should have closed down on him. Not exactly placed either, but that's due to my aim. Shevchenko with a decent little pass there, but then he just sits. He does not pass and then run forward. He finally gets forward now. Runs off sides. Yeah, I don't know about his AI yet, to be honest with you. Look how aggressive the CPU's play, and he's taking Virgil all the way up the field. This is some crazy settings that this squad battles team is set on. Here it is with Shevchenko. See if he can shoot out to this wing. They tried to offside trap there. These are some crazy aggressive AI. All right, power shot on the near post, but Edison has no problem with it. Wow, we're coming out of halftime here, and Shevchenko is at half stamina. Um, even though he's on a stay forward striker, we're going to check again right here and see if he... Nope, didn't get any back. Yeah, that's kind of rough for someone that's on stay forward. Stay central, too. Okay, let's see if he goes for it this time. He doesn't go to the pin spot for the header. 
gets that shot off really fast, but um, I did have it aimed right at Ederson. Bobby overlapped, Shevchenko, yeah, oh my gosh, gets destroyed to get it back to him. Shot gets blocked, we can try to feed him one more time here. Oh, they're offsides trapping like crazy. Yeah, Shevchenko, I mean, 80th minute here, Shevchenko is gassed, and he's on stay forward. He, I'll, I'll see if there's a if it shows you at the end of the game distance covered or whatever, but he hasn't ran that much to be completely gassed like that. Shevchenko, it doesn't auto switch to him. Something's going on. I, I don't know if it's this card's fault. Oh, he's gassed, man. He can't run. He can't even run anymore. Oh, that's rough. Can't shoot the wing in the 88. All right, going into a rivals game here with Shevchenko. To be honest with you, the squad battle's performance was not uh, impressive, uh, and the stamina was an issue. So we're going to see how he does. Uh, looks like he's got a pretty decent team to play against here. Long Mbappe up top. We'll see how this goes. Shevchenko in the good spot there for the header at least that time, but. Targets Mbappe. Ooh, Mike makes a good save. Hmm. Yep, should be an easy goal for Mbappe. Pulled that center, that second center back out of position. Gave him a huge space there. I was really hoping the second man press was going to pull Valverde over, but it's all good. Shevchenko does not get off the lightning quick. Uh, the lightning quick power shot there. Right, Shevchenko. I mean, his movement is good. Oh, he just lets me through. Oh, I should have just hit a normal shot, but I was already holding the uh, the right bumper. Dang. Right, Shevchenko, you got to go to the middle, bud. Oh, yeah. Zola was there, but it would would have been nice to have Shevchenko there. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, his movement is good. <sighs> Doing a little bit too much there. Shevchenko. Yeah, I mean, his passing has been uh, up to snuff as well. But once again there, he just doesn't get upfield, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's up with his AI. It's got a little delay in it or something. All right, Shevchenko, once again, he's just, he's not pushing back line there. Oh, but he does get, <laughs> does get fouled for the pin. Late to the party, but still made it. Let's put him on the kick. Great stats, of course, even with a basic chem. Yep, top left corner, no problem for him. Oh, didn't get caught off. Oh. Mm, didn't get caught off sides. Did good with the first touch there. I mean, that is one of his things. Uh, but did not place the shot good enough. Mm, thought I could catch him there with a little surprise backside uh, near post power. Oh, there's Shevchenko. Give me a finesse. Ooh. Puts a decent finesse on. Whew. Okay. Shevchenko does finish from the penalty spot there with a nice little clinical... Nice little clinical tap in. Shevchenko makes the cut, makes the turn. Good pass, too. Oh. Can't finish it. And then he's just always steps back after he does something. Does he get caught off there? Is he on? Ooh. Hat trick in his first Rivals game. Okay. Got to give him credit for that. It's not even halftime. 
Okay, Shevchenko's. Oh, got his hand up. <laughs> and that'll make it four goals for him before the half. Dude's pausing, even though we're at 26 or we're at 46 minutes. Pew! No problem with the open net for Shevchenko, and he pulled his cord. Yep. Well, <laughs> first match for him, and he did rage quit. So, see if we can look at these match facts a little bit. Shooting doesn't break it down by player, but um, <laughs> we look at the events there. Yeah, <laughs> no problem for Shevchenko. All right, let's get into our next Rivals game. Shevchenko did great in the first one, but um, we didn't get to see how his stamina held up because Bro didn't make it to uh, to halftime. Good team to there is a good team to play against here. You can see us to shoot against obviously Virgil in the back. So let's see how Shevchenko does. Oh, wow! Check with the fingertip save there against Virgil. See if we can actually survive this corner. Oh, Shevchenko wins it, but doesn't really get it out. Oh my goodness. Wow. We should not have survived that corner. Okay, that time Shevchenko actually passed it and then started moving again. Oh. Dang. Tried the cheeky uh, near poster again. Switchkov acting like he wants to make the Shevchenko. Yeah, well, he gets... Once again there, he just sits back after he gets rid of the ball. I don't know what's up with that. And then Sigma puts that off. That's unfortunate. Shevchenko, a lot of space. Ooh. Puts that, uh, puts that on on the near post again pretty lethally. Not been disappointed with his power shooting. Shevchenko crowding this wing even though... He doesn't have the pace, and he's set on stay central. Okay, he gives it and goes there. What a go! Oh, what an opening that he jumped into. Wow, that was actually good attacking AI. Shevchenko run into this wing. Oh, gets pushed off. That Tamori card's good, though, so... That's where I really want my stay central striker to be on the pin spot. But he gets it here. Oh, okay. Makes up for it. <laughs> Answers the power shot with a power shot. No reason he really should have put this. Oh, he put it on quite well. All right, Shevchenko, get on the spot. Oh, we got Mbappe over there. Oh. <laughs> Shevchenko did get to the spot in the end. <laughs> and the dude is out of here. 2-1. The man was up 1-0 and he could have pulled the cord. But I go up 2-1 and once again, we don't even make it to halftime. It's just crazy. <laughs> Alright, we're two rivals games in and... Uh, Shevchenko has made the dude leave both times, so I doubt that will, trend will continue, but we'll see how he can do this game. Little City and PSG, Lone, Virgil. Okay, bring in some Lone icons and some, uh, some gold attackers. See how this does. Shevchenko, I wish he wouldn't push the wing. Oh, Virgil's able to intercept that. Oh, he's making a good run there. Can we touch it back? Somehow maintains control, but got shut down in the end. Oh, and gets another good finesse on. Probably got fouled after he let it off, but... Oh, he's on. Oh, I really wanted him to take that first time. Oh, he's not on. Wasn't on anyway. 
Ooh. Okay, Shevchenko runs onto that and puts a fair header on target at least. Yeah, Shevchenko, good control with that first touch for sure. Just put a ridiculous angle power on here. Oh, almost uh, catches Allison. Shevchenko with the pickpocket. Oh my, Allison just barely saves it. What's going on here? Dude's pausing here, take a little look at, okay, Shevchenko's not below half stamina. So, in the 50 second, it's not great, but he's making it work. There's that finesse, yeah, I put it on pretty decent. Allison was ready, that probably should have been a Okay, here's Shevchenko. He finds the pass. Oh, what an incredible oh, goal line stop by Allison. Wow, keeping this man in the game like crazy. Shevchenko probably doesn't have the stamina to shoot this wing. Gets down it decently though and gets the pass off. Oh, Shevchenko's open. Ooh, nice little first touch tap in. I like that. See if this dude will let us replay it. Boink. Yep, Allison was ready to dive far side. Got him. All righty, folks. Andrei Shevchenko. Um, he didn't look great in his first squad battles game, but man, did he show up in Rivals. He just took us on a three Rivals game win streak. Um, across the four matches, including the squad battles game, he has eight goals, no assists. I mean, this card definitely exceeded expectations for the most part. There are a couple sticking points, but uh, we'll go through the card again real quick. Six foot, high, high work rates, four star, four star. I don't think I did any skilling with him, but his dribbling did feel pretty good. If you're boosting him with like a finisher or something, it's probably quite good. And you could get more use out of the four-star skills. The four-star weak foot was good, too. He gets passes off both sides nicely. Um, high, high work rate is kind of deceptive, though, because uh, he did come... He would come back, but he wouldn't... Uh, he had some weird AI pushing forward. Has the right wing position. Good stats. We were playing him with a basic since we're still rocking the loan. And uh, it felt good. The dribbling bonuses from basic may have helped him feel so good on the, on the ball. Was quick, um, able to shoot the wing most of the time. We took one free kick with him, but it, you know, didn't aim it like we would typically aim a free kick. So probably better off, like I said, using somebody with dead ball in that department. The heading accuracy was okay. He wasn't in position that many times to get a header off. And with that first touch plus, you might as well just volley it a lot of the times. 88 volleys, but he was able to get some good first touches on there. Sticking point um, of the physicality tree for sure was stamina. Maybe that low aggression was why he didn't. He, it took him so long to get back into motion after he did anything. But the uh, the 80 stamina was somewhat of a problem. Um, we didn't look at the end of that last game, but probably was drained. The play styles are great. You really feel pretty much all of them. The technical dribbling was quite nice. Um, quick step is always good to have with rapid you know gives you the ability to shoot the wing first touch plus is welcome i mean so overall this card the stamina may be an issue you may want to pull him at some point in the game um, i never really noticed cantona having stamina issues so let's see what it says his stamina is so he has 87 stamina um he was the one that was playing in the spot um and I don't know, this, it, he did get tired, obviously he did cause two people to rage quit before halftime, so maybe just go for that and then stamina won't be an issue, but, you know, the stamina, the aggression, only real sticking points here, this is a good card overall, he did exceed my expectations, um, like I said, I'm going to complete the SBC anyway, so um, I've only got one team left in the, in the actual SBC, but the loan did well for me, and um, I think I'm going to have a good time using this Shevchenko, so... If you've used the Shevchenko or if you plan on trying it out, you know, you could do the loan and try them out. Or if you have tried them out, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think because uh, I really, after that squad battles game, didn't have high hopes for him. But 
he made it work in Rivals. So what can I say? I'll give him a, some more games, especially when I get the uh, the big one done. I'll give him some more games and see how he does, see if he keeps playing that well for me. But hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.